Quality of experience versus quality of service. Quality of service, and again, I come from the cable world, right? I, I sold video on demand servers to, to cable companies. Um, and so it was always making sure that they were quite literally bulletproof. Um, and so underlying the quality of service aspect, I, my own personal opinion would be that five nines reliable, that, that never a macro block ever, that audio and video in perfect sync every time, um, just highest uh, playback experience at the highest possible bit rate with, with, with no stutters. That would be, in, in, in my mind, um, the, the quality and reliability aspect, right, of, of quality of service. And I think these, by the way, are overlapping circles in the Venn diagram. Um, the larger circle around that, I think, is quality of experience. And that's where we move into things in addition, not, not, not aside from, but in addition to that hardcore, outstanding, ultra high quality streaming um, is the UI, is the, the search, discover, recommend, fulfill, all of those, all of the dark magic, right? The, all, all of the, the little boxes on the functional diagram that is presenting a fantastic experience um, in next generation television, which is what I think all of this comes down to. Um, that's in, in my mind, the quality of experience, pulling all of those fairly difficult, each one of those things is fairly difficult to execute really well. Uh, pulling all of those together in a completely seamless and invisible way uh, and delivering that total package to the consumer, uh, that to me is quality of experience. And I know quality of service used to go hand in hand with SLA, service level agreements, making sure that there were guarantees of bandwidth and delivery. Um, quality of experience, as you say, the user experience. So what happens at the user's end? Rob, do you have uh, do you have a take on that? I mean, Ian said everybody would have a different uh, definition of it, so let's test that theory. Yeah, no, he's he's one hundred percent correct. <laughs> um, no, we we uh, we we all have different. Um, in, in fact, within within um, Disney streaming itself, we have different terminology for it in different areas. Um, but um, we will generally um, apply a term like quality service to the 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 underlying delivery components. Uh, that make up uh, the, the the holistic, you know, experience that the that the viewer sees. Um, whereas quality of experience metrics, uh, we typically qua quantify as being, you know, the 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 authoritative end user experience. Things like um, like a rebuffer, things that are experienced by the user, quality of the actual video, those sorts of things. Um, whereas then we'll build out underlying quality of service KPIs. Um, for, for components upon which that is built. Um, so, so for example, um, we'll have a quality service KPI for something like the average client throughput uh, on each CDN. Um, now, the quality of experience metrics that we're, that we're dealing with there is like the average bit rate selected by the client when they're, you know, by, when the player is playing back the video. Um, now, you know, you could be in a situation where the underlying quality of service KPI is slightly higher or lower per CDN. Um, but it doesn't ultimately affect the average bit rate selected based on, you know, perhaps like the bit rate ladder being, you know, sufficiently um, separate from each other. And, and, you know, it, do, it doesn't actually cause a, a quality of experience degradation, right? So we're always weighing, um, you know, we can look at CD, like this is, this is what we do in a multi CDN environment. We look at each individual CDN um, from a standpoint of both their quality of service metrics, um, but ultimately the authoritative uh, metrics for us are the quality of experience metrics. We want to understand that, um, you know, we want to build towards that ultimate end user experience. And if um, a particular CDN is maybe delivering slightly faster than all the other CDNs, but it doesn't make an impact on the quality of experience metric, well, then that, that QoS metric doesn't necessarily matter to us.